Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Samuel the Aviator and today I am going to be doing my channel introduction. And this is honestly a video that I've been wanting to do for a while and I've been kind of waiting. And the reason why is I was going to do it once I hit 100 subscribers, which I have officially just hit uh, today, uh, maybe yesterday, but I think it was today that I hit 100 subscribers. So. This is a very long-awaiting, long-awaited video that has a lot of meaning to me, and I'm really excited to shoot this video and to put myself kind of out there um, and kind of introduce myself to you guys. So the first thing I want to say is thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, and I'm assuming most people who see this video um, are going to be subscribers of mine. So I just want to say. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, this is something that I put a lot of work into, honestly, and it's very rewarding to, um, to hit that first 100 subscribers. And honestly, I hit it a lot quicker than I thought I would. You know, when I started saying I'd, I'd make this video when I got 100 subscribers and I'm not sure was that one I had maybe like 50, um, but I remember even before that thinking about that 100 subscriber mark and what that would mean to me and how exciting it'd be to get there. And you know, I had 20 subscribers or 25, and it just felt like it would take a very long time to get there. But here I am at 100 subscribers, and I'm real excited for that. So hopefully, we go onward to 1,000 subscribers. I just wanted to start out with the reason that I started my channel and to be completely honest there were a few reasons um, I for the last couple of years I've always thought wouldn't it be cool to have a YouTube channel and it wasn't even specifically aviation for me I was thinking you know I'm I enjoy cars a lot and and things like that so I was thinking maybe I'll do a car channel or something like that or just any kind of channel and it was about that time that I started getting into aviation. When I was 15, I started working on my private pilot's license. And I, I soloed the week I turned 16. And I think I got my license then the week I turned 17, if not a couple weeks after, something like that. It was at that point I decided, hey, I'll make my YouTube channel about aviation and flying and my journey and things like that. So that's what I've done and that's what I've started and that's what I'm, I've been doing and will hopefully continue to be doing um, for the recent future. So yeah, that's kind of where it all started for me and it was six months ago probably that I started getting my stuff together and I shot my first video uh, which it wasn't you know the best work I've ever done but it, it was important to, to, to get that out there and put myself out there and just improve upon it and I've been trying to, to continually improve and there's a lot of work I, I still want to be done um, you know and I'm not saying I have to upgrade my equipment a ton although I would like to a little bit uh, but just sorting out the little issues and making my channel higher quality. So along with that, I guess the reasons why I I actually started my channel, you know, the number one reason was, you know, I wanted to to have a YouTube channel. I've kind of always wanted to throughout my life growing up, but I thought, you know, I guess now is the time I might as well do it and why not aviation? You know, there are there are a few aviation YouTubers out there now um and there's there's more and more, but it's not really not really a niche like you know um, finance would be or or even cars or 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 um, anything like that it's just not as popular there's not as many youtubers you know and obviously you've got like entertainment and just huge stuff like that and aviation's kind of a unique thing and it's not I don't think there's as huge of an audience but there's also not as many creators so I think it's great to start as a creator in a niche that is, is growing and rapidly growing. And I think right now with um, the pandemic that we're in right now, when people aren't flying as much or getting furloughed, a lot of people have more time and they're watching videos and things like that. So now I think is a great time to be doing that, um, hopefully getting an audience. and. I guess that's really one of one of my reasons is just you know to entertain people and 
you know, make something worth watching that's not completely dumb, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a fun thing and, and flying to different places and doing different things and doing flight vlogs and stuff like that is something I really wanted to do. And I haven't been, been putting out the flight vlogs like I'd like to, and that's something I'm hoping to change and start with that. So I'm going to be trying to, to incorporate more of a vlogging style in my channel. So hopefully you guys like that and we'll see how it goes. And I guess the second reason or one of the, one of the, the big reasons that I started my channel was um, to just get people into aviation. And, you know, aviation's an industry like anything else. And it, it's great for for um, just private pilots or really anything, but I guess we're in a time right now, or we were in a time where, where pilots were kind of scarce, and I've, I've noticed that a lot of pilots, you know, just around, just around my home airport and other air, smaller airports, they're more of older people. So I just want to make sure that flying is pass, passed down to the younger generation. Um, like myself and there really isn't a greater platform to do that um, than to connect with them on a platform like YouTube you know that they would be on that they would be interested in you know it's kind of the here and now um, so I mean that's another reason so get people into aviation uh, get them get them flying and the third reason um, or kind of the third biggest reason I wanted to start this channel is also kind of um, educate a little bit or, or be helpful um, to fellow pilots like myself or just the general um, public. So I actually did a plane review on, on this plane that I'm part owner in and that's um, been my best performing YouTube video overall. And I can kind of understand why is there aren't too many educational or helpful videos out there. You can't really, I mean if I'd go and look for a review for my car or a car I'd like to buy, there are you know 10 reviews on that same car and it's just not that case with aviation so one of my big goals with this channel is to do aircraft reviews um, such as the one I've done and I'm hoping to do a few more in the near future and so people can actually get a look online and see what they're looking at see you know how the plane looks how the instrument panel is laid out how the interior is laid out what kind of room is in the interior all that sort of stuff and and not even that just a bunch of other things that are going to be helpful to the real world pilot um, and to to the general public anyone wanting to get into it and it's kind of a, a, a difficult line for me because I'm not a flight instructor or anything like that so I don't want to go out and, and push like instructional videos or you know how I do a short field takeoff or you know any any type of that any sort of that type of stuff you know, but I do want to, you know, do plane reviews or, or show how I study for a certain test or, or a check ride or, or that type of thing. So that's another big reason um, for my channel. So that's kind of um, been another reason that I started my channel and I'm hoping that, that this channel is kind of meeting those expectations and in the future will um, even more as well. So just a little more about me, as you know, I am a private pilot, uh, I just got finished saying that, so right now I'm actually working on my instrument rating. My goal is to have my instrument rating done in a few months and then pursue my commercial and my multi-engine. So as it stands, I'm hoping to have my instrument and commercial done by the time I turn 18, which is going to be roughly, I think, five months or something in that range. So that's going to be tough. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to meet that goal, but that's what I'm hoping for. So I want to get that done and out of the way and get my multi-engine done as well. And then I would also like to start looking for a career in aviation. So at this point, I do not have a job in aviation. Um, so I just work a, a different job and fund all of my flight training that way. I did not, I don't have a loan or it's not funded any other way. I just work and then I pay for my flight training which I really like doing so I don't have any debt hanging over my head once I get a job if I get a job in any time in the near future you know that money coming in from that is is kind of mine and I don't have to be worrying about paying people back and kind of living bare bones for a while so I want to get those ratings done and out of the way and then I would like to get a job in aviation as of now, I'm creeping up on about 200 hours, so, you know, by the time 
I have all my ratings and stuff done. I would like to meet the um, Part 135 PIC minimums um, for VFR. So I'd like to have, well, honestly, I'd like to have six or seven hundred hours, which probably is not going to happen. But you know, have five hundred hours in the next, hopefully, in the next year, maybe nine months and begin looking for a job um, this coming spring and I'm hoping to do obviously part 135 work so right now I'm strongly looking at perhaps relocating to Alaska or getting a job in Alaska doing um, any kind of work there normally be flying like a, a Cessna 207 or a Cherokee 6 and kind of working my way up there and doing like passenger um, charter stuff uh, through the little islands and stuff in Alaska or the little villages in Alaska or perhaps you know doing like um, tours or hunting expeditions anything like that is um, looking attractive to me as well as perhaps you know your normal low time job flying pipelines out in Texas uh, or a couple jobs I have around here that could be a possibility is there's a few um, places that are doing skydiving. Now I have not seen any job listings but I could always drop by those businesses and see if they're looking for pilots or you know put in a, an application or just drop my resume there and so that I'm kind of in the back of their mind as well as we have a local, um, fairly local within an hour, uh, cargo and charter company and I think they hire at 800 hours to fly a 208. So those are kind of my options that I'm looking at, you know, kind of in the future on what I want to do with my licenses and what I want to do with my career. And I'm hoping to take you guys along with that journey and start filming more of that stuff. I probably won't film my flight training just because I want that to not be a distraction for me so I can focus on my flight training. Um, but I'll definitely, you know, be filming how I how I do on my tests and and every time I get a new new certificate or rating. So I'll definitely be letting you guys know. And I'm about to take my instrument um, written test, so I'll let you guys know how I did on that as well as how I studied for that because I did it a little differently than I did for my private pilot's um, license. But I'm thinking I'll I'll do fairly well on it. I've been studying pretty hard, so hopefully that goes well for me. Alright guys, that is it for my channel introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little better um, and seeing kind of a vision for the future of this channel. If you have any thoughts or suggestions or things you'd like to see me do or changes you'd like me uh, made to this channel, feel free to drop me a comment. I like to read them. I love to respond to them. Uh, it really encourages me. So if you want to do that, feel free to drop a comment. Um, as well as if you're new here and this sounds like a channel you'd enjoy watching, please subscribe to this channel and ring the bell beside that. You'll get notified every time I release a new video. And if you want to, give this uh, video a like. That helps out my channel and it makes YouTube push my videos a little more because they know people like them. All right, guys, I think that's about it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it and putting myself out there for you guys. So that's it for now. Signing off, I'm Samuel the Aviator. Bye.